supine piece here. It is flat supine. Already he is ready to shift. He is not leaving. That means he is turning. That is the controversy. Supine piece here. Get the CM and on it. Now let this arm be like this and let this be like this. Now you turn normal. At the edge of the table, it is a basic principle. What is wrong if you keep at the edge of White the table? Lights, eh? Nothing wrong. Even if you don't keep at the edge of the table in supine piece here, there is no problem. Even if you don't keep at the edge of the table, why I will tell you? Now, first point in CM you have to remember is that you have to remember is that when you have two equal forceps, okay? When you have two equal forceps, one at the posterior surface, one at the anterior surface. You got the point? One at the anterior surface, like this. Now, rays will come from below. Rays will come from below. below. When the rays come, they will diverge. So, this diverges more. Am I correct? This one below will diverge more than above. So, this artery forceps and this artery forceps are of same size. One is kept here. Now, you do the C arm. Excuse okay? Oh, it is. Now, share it to the opposite side. Share it to the opposite side. Now, you kept the same thing above a little here. Do it. See which is looking, uh, now you come down a little bit, which is looking uh, small below one, this. See here, below one. Why? What mistake it has done? The more away from the projector looks small. Here, this surface is called, which surface? Anterior or posterior? Anterior. Anterior stones look Smaller. smaller in supine posterior stones look larger, larger. that's all clear yes, no problem now we are keeping both on the same surface see them one overlap see them one overlapping on the other if you see like that they are in the same position now how do you know that this is anterior this is posterior turn the see them that 10, 5 degree also you turn, 5 degree, 5 degree, what will happen, the anterior one will go down in the screen, see it has gone down, huh? that smaller one with a gap in the, for example you, you keep it like that, with a gap one has gone, see them, with a gap one has gone, uh, now I kept it here, with a gap one has gone down, now you turn more, more, more up, 5, five, five, five degree, what is happening? More now, more 5 5 degree. Why in 5 degree only it has gone down? Because the gap is more. This I have never told. That means more closer to this, you have to move this more away and confirm. More away they are less. Less. Sometimes, sir, if you keep here both, it is impossible sometimes to tell uh, that uh, which is CM. See, now 0. Zero, zero, zero. It is sometimes uh, they may not separate that much. Why? Because they are very nearer. So very nearer calices, you cannot puncture. It's not easy. So now you separate five five degree very near. They are just uh, in the kidney. It will be like this only. Why? It, why here to here will not be there. See, um, see, they are they are not separating that much. Then you cannot say that. Uh, which is anterior posterior. That's why some punctures, you don't get water. You are there in the calyx, but you are missing by, this, this is the missing by millimeters. Now you turn, see him. It is, is there any change? No change. Why? Because they are barely together. And kidney, all stones will be barely together. Why they will be so much separate? Turn. Ah. Turn. Still they are not separable, separated. Turn. That means if the calices are parallel and they are very close, it's very difficult to see which is anterior posterior. Turn more. How much ever you turn, you turn. See how? Turn. Yeah. Now also, that means sometimes CM interpretation cannot do anything. 
then you have to go more positive altitude till the water comes. Those are the cases RIRS will be useful, ECRS will be useful. This is one important trick till now I not told. Whereas if it is here, it will get separated by kilometer. Whereas if it is here, they get separated. You got the point? This you understand. So one which is anterior will go down, one which is posterior will go up in the screen. You understood? If you understand that, that's over. Surgery is over. Now what we will do is the position. How do you put the position? See, I'm done. Now, whenever you do supine, the problem is you see 90% of the anterior abdomen. That's where kidney is not there. That's why we have fear. If I puncture here, do you doubt any doubt colon will come? 100% will come. 100% will come. So who will tell that the colon is here or here or here, here in this position? God also cannot tell. But one person can tell. Who? Ultrasound. One ultrasound probe you keep, colon is not there, you puncture. But how many of us have ultrasound in the theatre? PNDT Act, 30 lakhs, maintenance. Who will have? Everybody in India is for CM bed puncture. Now what should we do? We should have landmark. Landmarks are better in the prone PCN because completely back, back is kidney. You know that you are nearer to the kidney, but you are away from the kidney. Because if you go like this, you are two problem. For that, most important is posterior axillary line. See, this don't neutral position, you need not sit. This is anterior axilla. This huh? This is posterior axilla. Can you see? Yes. Posterior axilla. This is a mid axilla. Any doubt? No. Now you keep the hand by the side like this. Don't keep like this. Parallel. Okay? You lie at dry. That's enough. That's more posterior of the posterior axilla line. Posterior leg line can be here, posterior leg line can be here. This is more posterior of the posterior leg line. Very good? Good. Now next important is, do some people think that rib will be here. That's not correct. Rib is very much, very much uh, uh, coastal angle. It is up to here, dear. Up to here. That is where you puncture in prone. But in supine you feel that, oh, hey, you back, hey, kaisa. Table se niche kaisa puncture karenge. That is bullshit. So, posterior axial line is not important. Rip tip is very important. Second thing in supine PCL, you will puncture horizontally. Direction may be like this, but horizontal puncture. So, this puncture will never be there in supine. That means when you are puncturing horizontally, you will go lateral part of the calyx only. You will go lateral part. Whatever calyx may be, lateral part only. You cannot puncture the medial part. Good or bad? Okay. Very good, right? Medial vessels will be there. Lateral artery will be there. You can never go in supine PCRL. Medial. Because you will see the lateral. Now, coming to the position, you, you have this, this position, if you give, I will finish that score. This position, if you give, I will finish that score. But you need little more comfort. What uh, edge of the table you take? Turn 15 degrees. Turn it. One person is turning, wait. One person is turning. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it more, turn it more. You put below the this thing. And you put here. Now you drop it. What happened? The entire thing is seen. So in this case you will do RRS or super PCNL? Super PCNL. Then you keep the leg like this straight. Little see all it is turned like this. Yeah. That's not good. If you keep the leg straight, what is the disadvantage? You cannot have access through the this thing. Yeah. That leg you keep it in the this thing. Okay? Now this is the position. How much time it took? 10 seconds. How much? One person, 10 seconds time. Position ready. In this position, you can do cystoscopy. Yes. You can do TRP. You can do URSL. You can do SPC. You can do suprababic cystolithotripsy. You can do PCNL. You can do RIRS. You can do laparoscopy and do the erotolithotomy and nephrectomy also. What position entire urology can be done. The only thing is that in this position, the ureter on this size will go laterally and superiorly. So little difficult to access. And at that side when you do this leg will come. That is the only problem. Otherwise, this is universal position, ECIRS position. So in this case, if you want to do RIRS, the screen will be here. If you want to do P7, all screens will be here. Screen 1, camera, uh, screen 1, CR, this thing. 
Uh, if you want to do RIL, CM. For an RIL person, CM can be anywhere. No problem. You can turn anywhere. But preferably, the angle should be, that screen should be here. You got the point? This screen should be that. Because if you see P7, you can see like this. If you see RIRS, you can see that. If you do P7, this screen, you see like this. If you have this screen, you will see like this. This is the position. If this CM will be centered, this CM should be here. This monitor should be here. This monitor should be here. Two surgeons, one urologist from below, one urologist from above. This is ECIRS position. Endoscopy combined internal. Are you expecting endoscopy combined here? Yes, I am expecting there is a small stone above this big stone. If that small stone is not seen, the flexible person will give it to you. Any problem? And you pass the redware. You take out the redware. Pass 6.3 French, not even access sheath. Go inside, one small stone seen. Hold it with the basket. Give to his mouth. And he will take it out. That is the true ECRS. If there is only one stone, there is no ECR. If two stones are there in different calices, then ECR. Then you need not puncture, yes. another puncture. Is it easy case or difficult case? Easy case. Why? Big story is easy. Never say easy. Probably I can do. When you say easy and go lightly, that day problem will come. So never say easy, never say always, never say I have never done. Three things you should never use the words. Never, always, easy. Any surgeon should not use these words. Any day can be bad day. So now they will position and call it.